what's good commanders fans uh i didn't have time to really edit my sound so you're gonna have to turn the volume up a little bit if you are having trouble with hearing me um but the commanders per ben standing have signed uh defensive back from the titans joshua kalu he does provide positional flexibility where he can play db he can play i mean he can play corner he can play safety uh this is per ben standing as well he's 27 years old uh, don't mind my kids in the background uh, he played 494 defensive snaps last season primarily at slot free safety and big nickel as well so um if you remember joshua kalu he played for the titans last year so remember when they played against the chargers and he was like falling out of bounds to get the interception and he throws the ball back to roger mccreary so he has the presence of mind and the heads up uh of making of a knack for making plays that was a heck of a play that was like a a, a sports center top 10 type of play uh, by Joshua Kalu. Also, he blocked a kick against the Kansas City Chiefs, so he can play special teams really, really well as well. He blocked a kick to beat the Chiefs 38-35, to so he blocked a potentially game-tying field goal, so I know Eric Bieniemy probably remembers that as well, even though that was three years ago. But Joshua Kalu, man, he's a, he's a heads-up player, heads-up kind of play, so he played... He had 495, 494 defensive snaps last season, primarily at the slot, free safety, and big nickel. Now, my last my last uh, video or, or episode, I said, you know, they're working out DBs just because, you know, a male force tweaked this groin. I don't, that may not be the case. You know, maybe they're just looking for more depth. Um, you know, they shot, they signed a lot, a lot of guys, a lot of DBs last year, like towards pre, the end of, towards the beginning of the preseason. Like, I think Wild Goose, they signed him right before the season started. They signed Tyree Castro Fields, guys like that before the season started. So you can never have enough corners. And they signed Jace uh, Whitaker from the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Now, Joshua Kalu, uh, he had a 41, 41 and a half inch vertical, and uh, he had some solid PFF numbers as well. 68 PFF grade last year, not bad. He had one interception last year. They probably counted that as an interception, even though he threw it up to Roger McCreary. I don't know if they they counted that as an interception, but um, last year he, he had a couple of good games uh, per PFF. So last season he played 500 snaps, posting an, an elite run stopping grade of 93 and a half per PFF. So uh, he went to Nebraska, had a 41 and a half inch vertical, uh, 40, 4, 4, uh, 4, 5, 40 yard dash, 17 bench, rep, bench press reps as well. Look at some of his strengths coming out of college, has framed to make full time transition to safety, athletic at, at ability is decent, has background as a cover corner, able to line up over big slot receivers as well, can crowd and body receivers in their routes, sub package qualities, pursues runners and closes out receivers with good speed. So. Aggressive at the cash point as, uh, at the cash point as well, so kind of sounds like Quan Martin a little bit. Quan Martin very speedy, a uh, high at, high uh, vertical leap, um, pretty quick with the forty yard dash as well. So he kind of sounds similar to uh, what Quan Martin's going to do this year, where he can play that Buffalo nickel and uh, cornerback position as well. So and you look at some of his advanced numbers, he played in sixteen games and started five games last season. So this guy did play one pick, one forced fumble, and five pass deflections as well. Had a good couple of tackles, forty two tackles. Uh, now, 2020, he barely played. He was more of a special teams guy. 2019, more of a special teams guy. 2018, more of a special teams guy as well. So uh, I think this guy is going to come in and provide some some depth. And, of course, as Ron Rivera loves to say, some position flex. Now, last year, in coverage, he only allowed a 68% completion percentage, which is pretty good, and an, only a 98.3 quarterback rating. Gave up two touchdowns. But uh, looking at some of the numbers, he, he had a solid season. Now, the Tennessee defense, their pass defense was pretty darn awful. Now, I'm not just going to put that on him. But their defense, their pass defense was bad. You know, we cooked them with De'Ami Brown had his best game against the Titans. A.J. Brown had like two or two touchdowns against the Titans last year uh, in that game. So their pass defense certainly got cut up. And they didn't have a lot of corners last year or, you know, great cornerback play last year from, from the uh, Tennessee Titans. But it looked like Joshua Kalu had a good workout earlier today. Some other corners worked out and they liked what they saw from him. So we'll see. He may not make the roster, but maybe the practice squad. I think he's a guy that may, you know, we'll see. We'll see. They got Wild Goose. Danny Johnson's still on the roster too. So they got some other corners on the roster as well, but they they have a lot more depth than what they have last year. So I like this signing. I like this signing. I do want to see um, NFL pass yards allowed last game. I do want to see that. <laughs> real quick before I wrap up. It doesn't really matter, but I know the Titans were bad. I, I think we were pretty good last year with pass yards. We were fourth with pass yards allowed last year. Tennessee, they were dead last in pass yards allowed per game, giving up about 300-something yards. We only gave up 191 yards per game 
uh, through the year. So, all right, you guys, you guys, let me know what you think about this signing. I just want to make a quick video because I said I even want to make videos about the low key signings. It doesn't have to be a big name, but every signing is important because you never know what can happen. Rashad Wild, who's got a lot of snaps last year, played in that Colts game. I remember that. And uh, he was guarding Michael Pittman on that last play. So, you never know. Whoever we sign, they may have to step up and play. So, all right, you guys, Hell's Commanders, peace.